Here come dead professor. Welcome to school class. My name is Professor Boy. Today I will be teaching you the basics of the number called Pi. Let's say you've just 360 scope someone in a match of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. The length of the circle that you made when you spun around is called a circumference. If you unwind the circle into a straight line, the length of that line is called the circumference. Just like a track, the length of a circle appears longer in a straight line, even though it is the exact same length, other than a circumference, the only other important word is diameter. This is the distance of any straight line that passes through the center and touches a circle twice, as long as the diameter touches the exact center of the circle and two ends of the circle, it will always be the exact same length. The length of the diameter is actually very small compared to the length around the circle itself. The area around a circle is always about three times bigger than the diameter. But that isn't very accurate, the length is always exactly pi times bigger. Pi is the exact number of diameters it would take to equal one circumference. And because it is an exact value, it is not rounded. Think of it like three and a half diameters except it is actually 3.141592653589723238462643 etc. diameters in reality. Instead of having to write that number all of the time, they gave it this Stonehenge looking symbol instead. So pi is how many diameters equal the length of one circumference? Yes.